Today we're going to Connecticut to pick up a load of used traffic signals from a contractor that I've done business with in the past. Very friendly guy. We'll see what he has. I'm not 100% sure what's going to be there. Every load is a surprise. I've been doing this for about 15, 20, 25 years. I can't exactly remember the date, but it's been a long time. And we're going to have a good time, I hope. I got into collecting traffic lights when I got one in the eighth grade. And for some reason I wanted another one. And then I wanted another one. I got more. Then a friend of mine says, what are you gonna do with all these? So I started selling one or two here, made some money, bought more than I wanted. And uh, it just exploded into a big catastrophe of comedy of errors. Other than that, just some interest I have and uh, I guess they're fun to work on. We're going to meet a bunch of characters that we deal with on a regular basis and a great group of guys and I hope you enjoy our trip. What a pain in the ass that is. Just trying to back around a corner because you can't see anything. And Andrew was a big help. <laughs> hey, some signs. Nettles are brand new. Ah, brand new. Railroad. Okay, well. Yeah. But we'll probably end up doing if you want to, we'll back in like we were doing. And then if you want to drive the forklift over and then we can take them off the pallets yep. and stack them. Yep. Wait till you see what's behind this house. Look at the signal. This, this is a signal garden. Oh. Those are yours. Oh. All right. And this old one I was talking about, too. Oh, yes, sir. I'll take that one. And you know what? Uh, we're perfect with the Campville sign. I got a campsite. That there you go. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that were perfect. What a coincidence. Oh, close up Hi. Bye. What a coincidence? Yeah, you showed up. That's cool. Bye. <laughs> you call me Eclipse and block me and you. Yeah. He doesn't want to be on camera because he's in the witness protection program. <laughs> I'm really surprised how great some of these signals look. They're in great condition. I can see why in some of these reality shows where the guy, camera guy gets a lot of shit. When we're picking up signals and loading the trailer, we can't just throw them in there. We have to take them individually and figure out a way to load them so they fit nicely and ride safely and don't get damaged. You know, some of these signals, they just need a good cleaning before they can find a good home. Okay, we got one more skid of uh, three section lights we're gonna take and then we're gonna take the rest of the loose skids and we're gonna stack them like Tetris and get them on the floor and see what they fit. Yeah, who the hell you think you are? <laughs> the traffic light king. I'm leading your revolt. We were lucky today. We got a skid with span wire and signal cable on it. People always look for that stuff, so when they recreate their own intersections in their basement or backyard, it looks 100% authentic.
I was really surprised that he offered those poles to us today. Usually he says they need them for uh, knockdowns and emergencies. They must have had more than they could deal with. But I was happy to take them. I want that one for sure. I'll take whatever you don't want. If it ain't nailed down. Anchor bolts for uh, spam poles and mass arms. How deep do you usually drill down though? 15, 20 feet? Yeah, 15, 20 feet now. Collectors like these Culper Head streetlights because of the old school look. They're disappearing and becoming a rarity because of the LED conversions and will become a thing of the past. What is that? that uh, Some sort of an old well, automatic, obviously, but I got solid state. Series 114M. Okay. Right on there. That was made in Norwalk, Connecticut. Yep, years and years ago. Get my goods Some of these signals were replaced because of intersection upgrades. It's not because they're old or out of date. It's just because of the intersection design changes that they no longer meet the requirements of being used in the field as a regular traffic signal, but are perfectly good for home use. These poles can be reused anywhere. On the street again, backyard, or a car dealership. Doesn't matter. Why don't you guys have picked a lighter hobby? Like stamps? Yeah. What are you doing right. with this thing? <laughs> well, hold on, I want to bury it in the woods. Hold on. We had a really great day. We're going to finish unloading the signals. I had a help from a great group of guys. We're going to sort the good from the bad and find homes for the good ones.